All right, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And I apologize for this being so late. I know this came out a little while ago, but it has been a busy past couple of weeks. Anyways, today I'm doing a video on Android 16 QPR1 Beta 3. So we're gonna go over some of the new features underhood improvements and design tweaks and talk about if you should opt in for the beta for this particular update. So first things first, this update was about 521 megabytes on my Google Pixel 9 Pro here. With that being said, let's jump straight into the first change, which is actually something Google brought back in this update that they had removed in the previous QPR1 beta 2.1 and that is the next page preview. So if I take my Gmail app here and I drag it, you can see a preview of the next page appears on the right side of the screen. And I'm personally very glad this is back. This is something that is super helpful to me and I'm not really sure why Google decided to remove it in the last update. Nonetheless, I am glad it's back the next thing is actually something on the lock screen here. So Google has removed the transparent notifications. If you use the compact notifications, it used to have this kind of transparency that would match more and you could kind of see through the thing onto your wallpaper and now it is just a solid color again. So I hope this is something that they actually bring back in the next update as I'm not really quite sure why they decided to remove it in the first place. Another thing here is they actually brought back in this update is the kind of colorful, almost 3D looking uh, weather icons for the at a glance widget on your lock screen. So here you can kind of see the sun peeking out of the clouds and something that actually has a little bit of color to it with the sun being orange, where previously it was all just kind of this um, bleak, all white thing. So I am glad that they brought this back. Now for the next thing, hopping into the settings here, we can see that everything is slightly more compact. There's less space in between each of the menus and you can really just see more on your screen. This also means less scrolling and it's just a little bit faster to find things as well. So honestly, this is just a lot more polished. Um, I do really appreciate the change here. You can also have a more Material 3 expressive menus here in settings. So if we go into the display and touch, you can see things like the nightlight and auto rotate, as well as the dark theme and always on display and adaptive brightness all got a Material 3 expressive redesign. So they each have their own sub menus that you can actually click into with those colorful pills as well. And this is again something I appreciate as it just gives all of these settings a little bit more of a cohesive look while they continue to add Material 3 expressive things into the settings app. The next thing you'll notice is that the app closing animations here feel just kind of a little bit more smooth. So I'm not particularly sure if this is part of the update or not, but just the closing of apps overall just feels a lot more smooth to me. Another thing here that I am personally very excited about is that fact that if we go into battery, the battery health feature and page finally fully works here where you can see your battery capacity is at 100% for me. This is something that has never worked for me in any of the previous QPR1 beta updates. So I am personally very, very glad to see it finally work on my Pixel 9 Pro here. This may or may not still be here in the following updates. It's something that apparently Google has added and removed quite a few times here. But again, I am glad to see this feature show up in my phone. Something else that is also new is the Google account settings has also gotten a Material 3 expressive redesign here. So this is something again that is quite nice as they continue to add more and more of this design language here and just makes your phone feel a lot more fluid and cohesive again here. It also has gotten slightly better organization and just looks cleaner as well. Again, something else that is new here is that we have a magnify keyboard option. 
And what this allows you to do is really zoom in on your keyboard or something else on your screen whenever you're typing. So we will go ahead and turn this on and then we will search something and you can really zoom in on your keyboard to type here, uh, which can be very helpful, especially for someone who just needs the slightly larger um, size of things on their screen. So again, very useful accessibility feature here. So there you have it, everything new and any changes in beta three of Android 16 QPR one. And to be honest with you, this is a little bit of a disappointing update personally. So hopefully in future updates, Google will continue to add the remaining features that are still missing, such as custom icon shapes, et cetera, et cetera. Please let me know in the comments down below which update you are most excited for and any other features that you would like to personally see Google add in the near future. Also, please hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe to the channel for more future updates on everything Google and Pixel and I will catch you in the next video.